What's going on world? It's your man Dominic D. Hargrove here, Slight Edge Performance Program. Quick video for you. Seeing your memory as technology. Three reasons why. Three reasons why to see your memory as technology. Beautiful ocean here right behind me. It's a nice sunset if you see the sunset. Beautiful sunset setting here, South Beach, Miami. Hope there's enough lighting for you out there. But seeing your memory as technology, three reasons why. The first reason why is the definition of technology. Seeing your memory as, as technology, well, what is technology? What is the definition of technology? And the definition of technology is the scientific application of knowledge. So knowledge has many manifolds of files of uh, from stories, from uh, history, mythology, uh, mysteries. Knowledge has a manifold of when it comes to the realm of knowledge. So when it comes to scientific proven knowledge is pretty much what technology is. Look the definition up for yourself. But technology guys, your memory is technology and that's one of the major points that I love to get across with my program, Slide Edge Performance Program. My story is a little different than most people. My background is athletics. I played college football at Virginia State University and went on to get my uh, undergrad degree in mass communications and my master's degree in sport management. And I started training athletes. I started, uh, I had some of the greatest mentor, one of the greatest mentors on the East Coast when it comes to elite athletic training and training athletes, helping athletes go from mediocre and average to elite athletes, helping guys earn scholarships to go to college and uh, become elite athletes, become through training, through putting forth the effort, these guys made it to the pros. They achieved their dream. They accomplished their goal. They put the work in, they put the, the the blood, sweat, tears in. That's your body, that's your genetic makeup. And they accomplished their goal. And within that, I saw some things. And in that process, I met my mentor. My mentor said, Dominique, you want to learn how to use your time to make money for you. I'm going to help you. If you want to learn, I'm going to give you, give you access to some education, to some information, to some books, to some audios to train your mind, to learn to train your subconscious mind and your mind to work for you as an asset. I'm gonna teach you about an asset, how to make and create assets that cause you to make money while you sleep, cause value to attract to you while you sleep or doing something fun with your family, with your friends. And in that process, I learned about residual income. I learned about uh, passive income uh, and generational wealth in that type of mindset. If that's something you're looking for, make sure you email me at IamTheSlightEdge at gmail.com. Memory, guys. Technology. And my story it wraps all around because memory and technology is spring break out here too. So if you hear alarms, it's the spring breakers. Seeing your memory as technology. So we know that Technology is the scientific, the application of scientific knowledge. Guys, the mind and brain researches, when it comes to mind and brain research, when it comes to learning about the mind, the hardware of the brain, the software of the brain, mind, consciousness. From the top universities in America, the top universities in the world study how the brain works, study how the mind works, study how consciousness works, study how the subconscious mind and the subconscious brain works. So that's something you should study and learn about, right? Study to show thyself approved, a workman, a workwoman that need not to be ashamed because you're rightly dividing the words of truth. So I believe in research and I believe in you know, doing your own research, coming to your own understanding. The second point and the second reason why 
it's to see memory as technology. Think of your computers that you use. Think of these technologically advanced devices that you use called cell phones, called laptops, called tablets, called computers, guys. Without memory, what would that device be? Now think about your brain. It's nothing but a parallel to your God-given brain. So learn about your brain. Learn about your mindset. Robert Kiyosaki, which is my mentor who taught me about finances, which helps you with mental and spiritual health and wealth. It's tied all in together. He told me about Robert Kiyosaki. Don't be alarmed, guys. It's just the spring breakers. Listen to the message. Almost done. He told me about Robert Kiyosaki and the cash flow quadrant, guys. He told me about uh, rich dad, poor dad. Uh, how you want to transition and make an exodus from the active side of how we earn money and make an exodus to the passive side because it's a whole nother lifestyle. It's a whole nother frequency. Think frequency. Think vibration. Think energy, guys. So we know that technology, the definition of technology, right? We know that our brain is the hardware of our brain and the software of our brain. If you study computers, it's a parallel to your own God-given brain. And the third, three, third reason why to see your memory as technology is because you can create memories, guys. Your dream, your vision. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Without a vision, my people perish. Learn to cultivate your vision. Learn to cultivate your mind, your own consciousness. You can create memories and call forth those things that be not as though they were. You can create memories and whatsoever things you desire when you pray, when you meditate, when you make your request known to God, you can create memories and believe those things have already happened and you shall have them. Call it law of, law of attraction. Call it prayer. Call it the golden rule. Wanting for your neighbor what you want for yourself. Dream from that place. Live from that place. Write from that place. Speak from that place. Imagine from that feeling. Visualize from that feeling. The feeling of your assumed, already accomplished desire. You gotta have a goal in mind. You gotta have a ideal in mind. Something worthwhile to accomplishing it because success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So think long term. We're, we're, I have a quote and an affirmation that says that we're growing younger and wealthier. I believe that and it's happening. So hope these three things help you. Rewind the tape. Share it. Email me at IamTheSlightEdge at gmail.com. Go to my website. Click the link down here. IamTheSlightEdge.com. Order some Neutralite Double X. Right? We're learning through nutrition how to communicate optimal health to our body at the cellular level. That's the purpose of eating, guys. Is to communicate optimal health, supreme health, superior wellness to your body from your head down to your clothes, baby. Hope this video helps you. Peace.